When you need help, when you're out of options, and you need your voice heard, better call four. And I thank you guys at the bottom of my heart. Oh, Channel you. four is responsible with anybody. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Better Call 4 is getting results. A local legally blind veteran turns to us months after submitting a request to move his mailbox closer to his home. Tired of waiting for the U.S. Postal Service to respond, he and his friends called Better Call 4 and we delivered. I don't like to ask my neighbors to do this for me. These guys have been the uh, really helpful and they get my mail for me because I'm not going out there anymore. Out there to the other side of London Grove Port Road. Every day, Kenneth Kirk has dodged traffic and crossed the busy route to get his mail for nearly 30 years. He said to me, dear. Three years old, the Army veteran has seen a lot, but is now legally blind, making his journey to the mailbox even more dangerous. I'm not going to try that again. So Kirk got a little help from his friend, Bob Scott. I've went out there and stood by the mailbox getting it out. It had to go like this, phew, the cars went by. That prompted Scott to go to the post office and submit a request to relocate Kirk's mailbox. The two say they got the form, filled it out, and immediately turned it in. We thought, well, this is going good. Yeah. But weeks went by, and Scott says there was no word from USPS. He went back to the post office to figure out what was going on and says he was told the form was missing. That's when... I got disgusted with it, you know, I was telling Jim about it, so I decided to take a shot at it. Friend and fellow veteran Jim Rogers says he went through the same process. Got the forms from the post office, got them filled out, had, had uh, Ken's doctor sign it, and then I went into the post office. This time, Rogers wanted to put the form directly into the hands of the postmaster, but Rogers says he wasn't there. So I asked for an appointment. Uh, he doesn't take appointments. So I left him a message and had my phone number, my name, and why I wanted to see him. Uh, no phone call. Rogers says he called again, but again, no call back. So the trio called Better Call 4. Well, hopefully it'll work. And we delivered. Two days after speaking with the group, I sent a message to the Postal Service. And after a brief exchange of information, less than three hours later, I received this message from a representative. The postmaster spoke with Mr. Kirk. His request was approved and his delivery accommodation will begin tomorrow. Everything is all finalized. They've got the mailbox uh, planted here now. I checked back with Kirk two weeks later and he tells me it was more than a phone call. The postmaster came to his home to speak with him face to face. And he said, I want to apologize from the bottom of my heart. He said, I had no idea what was going on, nothing about your eyesight, nothing about you. Kirk says the day after that visit, his friends installed a new mailbox, just a few safe steps from his door. That quickly. Wow. Very fast. Yeah. I couldn't have got that mailbox out fast enough. <laughs> so everything turned out fine. And I'm so glad it turned out fine for him. They were such a sweet group to yeah, work with. Uh, Kirk tells me, of course, that move gives him and his friends one less thing to worry about now. If you or someone you know is in a similar position, you have to speak directly with your postmaster. They make those decisions. It's not the USPS who regulates that. So make that quick trip, make that phone call. And if that doesn't work, you can call us. We're not talking about forms. We're yes. talking about people. Yes, yes. And I'm glad the response was eventually I am, made. I am glad it worked out. I mean, he's 93. He fought in Korea. He just wanted that simple, accommodation. simple accommodation. Very and basic. so I'm so happy to see it worked out for him. Again, remember, if you need help or you feel like you are not being heard, you better call 4 at 614-212-4444. You can also visit NBC4i.com slash Better Call 4 and tune in every Tuesday and Thursday evening at 545 to watch Better Call 4.